Hello friends, uh, now let us see the important management uh, strategies that are adapted for uh, uh, cotton uh, insect pests. So, before that it is uh, better to know the ETL levels of uh, different pests, so that uh, it becomes very easy to adapt uh, the different uh, strategies including uh, the insect uh, pesticide uses in the management of insect pests. So, these are the ETL levels. Uh, for a different pests, so American bollworm, so 5 percent damage, fruiting damage or one larva per plant. So, for pink bollworm, 8 uh, moths per trap per day for uh, 3 consecutive days like this, for leaf hopper, 2 leaf hopper, for white fly it is 5 to 10 per leaf before uh, 9 m and also they have indicated and for aphids 10 percent affected plants and uh, for thrips it is 5 to 10 and uh, even for nematode it is 1 to 2 larvae per gram of soil. So, now let us see the important uh, tactics which are adopted for uh, uh, pest management uh, on uh, cotton. So, cultural practices which is very important in uh, each and every uh, pest management in that uh, deep plowing. So, it is going to expose different uh, hibernating uh, stages of the insects and uh, likewise field sanitation. So, by destroying uh, and uh, removing of the uh, previous crop residues. And uh, when you come to a uh, date of sowing, so most of the times early sowing or uh, timely sowing that is uh, in uh, south it is early means uh, uh, June to uh, July and uh, August in case of uh, Tamil Nadu. And uh, if you sow early, so that uh, majority of the insects can be avoided. And next is uh, use of resistant uh, varieties. So, earlier uh, used to grow this uh, uh, non Bt varieties. Now, many Bt varieties or hybrids have come to market. So, these are the even though these are the some of the uh, varieties these have shown uh, resistant to some of the uh, insect species. In continuation of uh, this uh, cultural practice. So, crop rotation uh, which is very important wherever uh, you have the problem of especially this uh, helicorpa and uh, white fly. If you rotate uh, the cotton crop with uh, green gram, black gram, soybean or castor and uh, sorghum, thereby as well you can uh, avoid uh, uh, the major uh, bollworm complex like helicorpa and also areas. And uh, next one important uh, second pest that is white fly. So, it is also one of the uh, virus vector that is going to cause CCLV. A CLCV. So, if wherever uh, the white fly problem is there, so it is uh, better to rotate the cotton crop with uh, sorghum, ragi or uh, maize that is very important. And uh, another important uh, cultural practice that is uh, avoiding uh, this uh, alternative host especially these uh, weed hosts. So, uh, Legasca mollis that is one important uh, weed host for Hilcorpa armigera. Uh, so, again uh, the abutalan species these and uh, even uh, these congress grass hibiscus they are also going to act as alternative host for white fly and also mealybug. So, border crop can be adapted in the management of uh, insect pest of uh, cotton especially helicorpa or other uh, bollworms. So, by border cropping uh, this cotton with uh, pigeon pea, bajra or maize. Course, thereby it can even uh, avoid the penetration of uh, mealybug to the main crop. And uh, the most important one is the judicious use of fertilizers. So, normally farmers they are going to apply the higher amount of this nitrogen. It is going to attract many sucking pests that is why always one has to use uh, judiciously. Then even uh, by following intercrop as well you can uh, avoid some of the major sucking pests like uh, leaf upper. So, the intercrop with the cowpea and uh, soybean. So, it normally it uh, reduces the leaf upper uh, damage. And as well you can follow this uh, trap crop method and uh, wherein uh, some of the crops uh, trap crops like uh, marigold, okra and even castor they are going to act as trap crop in case of uh, uh, trapping this helicorpa armigera. And, uh, for myriad bug as well you can uh, uh, put uh, uh, lucerne as trap crop. And by erecting uh, some of the uh, traps like uh, yellow traps or uh, 
sticky traps. So, they are going to attract uh, many sucking insect pests like uh, white fly and even uh, lirium also. also. For uh, pink bollworm uh, monitoring as well you can uh, use this uh, delta traps or sleeve traps for monitoring purpose. And next is uh, important one is mechanical uh, practices. So, the developed larvae can be hand picked and uh, destroyed and even uh, some affected parts of the plants can be uh, picked up and uh, can be destroyed. So, in uh, cotton 90 days if you follow the clipping of uh, terminal shoots. So, it is uh, going to uh, reduce much uh, population of uh, this uh, uh, bolons and also at the same time it is uh, going to reduce even sucking pest population also and at the same time it also helps agronomically the bowl development. And in case of uh, mealy bugs, so it is uh, better to always uh, uh, avoid uh, the infested or infected uh, uh, equipments and as well this can be overcome by applying uh, these insecticides and thereby one can uh, minimize this mealy bug population. And uh, at the same time you have to uproot the affected uh, plant parts by mealy bug and as well you can uh, apply the recommended uh, uh, chemical insecticides to avoid further spreading of the these mealy bugs. And one another important uh, method that is uh, biological control method. So, it is very important to conserve the natural uh, enemies like uh, lace wings, lady bird beetles which are abundantly and even for that matter some uh, 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 predatory bugs also which are uh, and even spiders also they are actually occurring in uh, cotton ecosystem those can be saved by applying uh, very safe insecticides. And even uh, parasitoids like uh, telonomus and trichogramma uh, can be increased by using suitable control measures. And uh, even uh, some of the naturally occurring uh, fungi are as well you can uh, use uh, these uh, fungal uh, insecticides also one among them is Bivaria bassiana that can be used uh, to manage some of the insect pests. And uh, by installing uh, some bird purchase as well you can attract uh, some of the important uh, birds like uh, black drango, king crow like this. So, that it is going to feed on uh, some of the insects especially these uh, larvae of bollworms. And in case of uh, beetle worms it is uh, uh, better to augment the various uh, uh, predators which are uh, occurring uh, even naturally and also commercially and for that matter parasitoids they are also occurring uh, naturally and even one can augment the uh, these uh, trichogramma egg parasitoids by continuous releasing. And uh, insecticides or some of the biopesticides can be used for the management of uh, various insect pests. For the management of sucking pests, one can use uh, verticillium lacani, so which is very effective against uh, white fly and also other sucking insect pests. And uh, NPV, so both uh, SLNPV and also HANPV can be used for the management of uh, uh, Spodoptera and also Helicorpa respectively. And some of the parasitoids which are occurring naturally, so those can be encouraged like Encarcia species which is occurring in uh, cotton on white fly. Next uh, Anasia species which is uh, occurring uh, in uh, mealy bug, so these can be encouraged. And these are the some of the uh, parasitoids which are associated uh, with the recently occurring uh, this uh, flower mist. So, these can be spared. So, similarly as well one can use these botanical insecticides also. So, among them neem that is NSK and even some commercially available neem products can be used especially against sucking insect pests. And this is the list the recommended by various authorities like university and also some ACRP workers against uh, different pests. So, these are the insecticides which are effective uh, against sucking insect pests. And again uh, one can use uh, the seed treatment uh, chemicals uh, against sucking pests. So, uh, imidacropid which is available and uh, normally the seeds uh, which are uh, uh, 
uh, available in the market or treated with the imidacloprid or thiamethoxam. If they are not treated, one can uh, treat the uh, seeds with uh, these uh, chemicals so that uh, as well you can uh, avoid the early occurring uh, sucking insect pest. And these are the some of the uh, insecticides which are effective against uh, target insect like mirid bug, fipronil is effective again for mealybug, profenfos is uh, effective other than uh, profenfos if you have a good number of insecticides these can be used for the management of uh, target insect pests. And uh, for against mite pests uh, this fenpyroximate it is one uh, important uh, acaricide which is very effective in the management of the some of the mite pests. And uh, we have list of uh, this uh, uh, insecticides which are effective against uh, different bollworm complex. But for pink bowler, we have some insecticides exclusively against pink bowler and for even for tobacco bowler also. Okay. So, this pink bowler actually it has occurred widespread on Bt cotton on different parts of the or different states of the country especially in Gujarat, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka and also Andhra Pradesh. So, many questions have been arised uh, in uh, our uh, uh, MOOC uh, IPM programs. So, it is uh, better to uh, discuss about uh, pink polar little bit uh, more uh, about its uh, management. So, here uh, for pink polar management field sanitation is uh, very important. So, there was uh, one uh, legislation act uh, during uh, 1911 for the management of uh, this uh, pink polar in uh, Madras uh, uh, state. So, one has to remove all the uh, stables or uh, crop residue of uh, previous season by August. So, that was the legislation. So, here uh, sanitation plays very important role for the management of uh, this pink pollen since it undergoes uh, diapause uh, the larval uh, diapause in uh, unopened bowls or uh, stubbles. So, it is uh, very important to follow sanitation programs. So, in most of the areas uh, in uh, Bt cotton areas we are uh, not uh, actually following the refugia crops. So, one uh, needs to follow this uh, refugia crop system wherein in, uh, in uh, uh, 450 grams of uh, this Bt seeds. So, 120 grams of non Bt seeds have been uh, provided. So, just to avoid the resistance development against uh, these uh, especially bowl worms, it is uh, better to follow this uh, refugia cropping system. So, thereby as well you can uh, reduce the resistance against uh, uh, bollworms especially this uh, pink bollworm because this pink bollworm it is one uh, monofacus uh, pest it uh, does not have. So, it has to feed uh, on uh, uh, cotton that to cotton seeds itself that is uh, that is why uh, there is uh, every chance of uh, developing uh, resistance very fast against uh, this Pt cry protein. And uh, as well uh, one can uh, follow this uh, uh, ETL for the management of because uh, it is very difficult to identify the damage uh, due to this insect pest. Because once it enters into the uh, bowls, so farmer even uh, uh, the other functionaries extension functions cannot identify. Uh, so, how it uh, enters and that is why it is uh, one need to follow the other monitoring methods like uh, installation of uh, this uh, uh, pheromone traps thereby as well you can uh, examine the adults trapped in the uh, sleeve traps and uh, as well you can cut open the bowls and even uh, by examining uh, flowers as well you can uh, work out uh, this uh, ETL. So, if you record uh, 3 successive days uh, that is uh, 8 months per uh, day. So, that actually gives us the ETL level. Similarly, if you cut open 20 bowls and if you record uh, 2 or more uh, live PBW larvae. So, that indicates the ETL of uh, this uh, pink bollworm. So, other than this, uh, so one can uh, adapt uh, this uh, early maturing uh, uh, varieties wherever uh, this uh, pink bollworm problem is existing severely. And even uh, by using these pheromone uh, traps, it is at the rate of 30 pheromone traps per hectare one can mass trap the adults of this pink polar. And these are the some of the recommended insecticides which are uh, very helpful in uh, managing uh, this uh, uh, pink polar especially these uh, pyrethroids. And uh, 
these pyrethroids cannot be uh, sprayed repeatedly, because it is going to invite other problems like uh, white flies and also aphids. So, in between as well uh, you can use other insecticides like uh, profenfos, thiodocor and even acephate also, thereby as well you can uh, manage this uh, uh, pink polar berry effectively. So, in brief we have discussed about various uh, uh, insect pests which are uh, occurring on uh, cotton and also the management uh, strategy which can be adapted uh, uh, for uh, management of both the uh, bolons and also uh, this uh, sucking insect pests. So, here uh, in uh, India and also in other countries uh, Bt cotton it is uh, uh, grown and uh, even on Bt cotton also we are actually uh, recording uh, the uh, insects especially lepidopteran pests uh, like helicorpa and uh, recently this uh, pink polarm. So, for pink polarm one has to be very careful and uh, one has to adapt uh, the management uh, strategy especially this uh, uh, sanitation and uh, other uh, uh, methods uh, like uh, mass trapping that is most useful and uh, even uh, for that matter uh, selection of selective insecticides. So, thank you.